Squishy circuits are a great kit for students in both primary and intermediate grades. With squishy circuits, students can tinker and build creative circuits with their hands. Components are connected with colorful conductive dough, which students can shape just like Play-Doh. This kit is designed for two to three students working on one challenge card at a time. The kit has 10 sets of basic parts. So for the simplest projects, up to 10 separate groups of students can work at the same time. For more complicated projects, you may need to combine sets. Pay attention to the sequence of the challenge cards at the bottom left-hand corner. The challenges do build upon one another. The Squishy Circuits kit includes 10 of each basic component. Battery holders, switches, motors, buzzers, and packets of different colored LED lights. There are also several cans of conductive dough in many colors. The white dough is special because it is insulating, so you can use it to block the flow of electricity when needed. Here is an example of a Squishy Circuits project. Notice some of the dough is colored and some of the dough is white, and that is important. This kit definitely requires batteries. Each battery holder needs four double A's, so be sure you have access to extra batteries in case any of the batteries die. This kit may require a little bit of cleanup similar to any other project that uses Play-Doh or modeling clay in your classroom. If you need more dough, it doesn't have to be purchased from Squishy Circuits. Most brands of Play-Doh will work in place of the conductive dough, and most types of modeling clay will work in place of the white insulating dough. Do-it-yourself dough recipes are also available from the Squishy Circuits website if you'd prefer to make your own. At that same Squishy Circuits website, you will find project ideas, tutorials, and lesson plans for teaching circuit basics and also how to use all of the components. For more details, you can also visit our Maker Kit website. When you're returning the kit, as with any Play-Doh, try to return each color to its correct container with a minimum of mixing with other colors. Do not mix the white dough with the colors, as the white dough has very special properties. Be sure to put all the parts back neatly into the correct sections in the case. And if the kit will be stored for a long period of time, be sure to remove the batteries so they won't leak and damage the parts. Reach out to your EdTech with any questions, and don't forget to check out the MakerKit website for more information and ideas. Thanks a lot.